having been in the gym for 14 years now and there's a big gap in between but I started my gym in 90s and then I got injured and I stopped and then I resume and it has been 14 years and within this 14 years well more than 14 years I have received a lot of questions by many people and today I'm just gonna talk about five which I think that everyone and everyone around me likes to ask What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel where I share honest information about fat loss and fitness. My name is Bong. So I believe a lot of you all uh, who are gym rats. <laughs> Anyone still call themselves gym rats? <laughs> we gym rats in the 90s always get a lot of questions you know be it uh, how do you how do you build like your bicep how do you get the chest how do you how, how do you get uh, nobody asks about how do you get big quads okay people will ask you uh, people will ask you uh, maybe you know why your quads is so small why your calves is so small <laughs> even if you have well quite defined quads and calf they still well manage to well criticize your <laughs> quads and calf but that doesn't really affect me because i only i know my own body and how i want to uh, uh have a proper proportion to what i visualize as something which i really want myself to look in but no doubt people gonna keep on asking you questions after questions after questions be it if they want to follow the advice given. These are what we call ask So if you're like me, that goes to the gym all the time, well, I spend most of my days in the gym when uh, before the pandemic, you know, I, I literally train in the gym three, three to four hours. And then I train my client a couple of hours. So my whole life is like literally in the gym, day in, day out, seven days a week, almost 365 days a year. If people come up to you, if you have the same lifestyle as I do, people come up to you and ask you all these questions, or you have some questions which I'm not sharing today, which I'm not uh, having my own personal experience sharing today, do comment down below and let me know what are the questions which you receive. You like it, you don't like it, you have answers to it, you don't have answers to it, or you're just being sarcastic and try to get them off your back. Let me know, yeah? Probably it will help me to know how to answer them in the future. Okay, so let's get straight down into the first question which I, well, everyone loves to ask. The most controversial uh, question that fitness, does, those people in a bodybuilding world get asked is steroids. What is my opinion about steroids? Okay, not to talk about those people who keep asking me, hey, is he natty? Hey, is he steroid? Hey, is he natural? You know, <laughs> please don't ask me those kind of questions. Okay, if you want to know, ask them yourself. Okay, it is very, uh, well, sensitive topic to talk about. And I really, really, really will answer honestly. Uh, usually, when people ask me, and then this big guy walk, walk across and then someone, hey, bong, you know, it, that guy must be on right. I said, I don't know. You know, you want to know, ask them yourself. So steroids, okay? I personally don't use it. I choose not to use it and I don't want to use it, but I won't condemn those people who use it. But I do hate, I say hate, people who glorify them and like promoting and trying to persuade everyone around them to buy steroid from them, especially, you know, those people who are selling steroids, they are, glorifying and, 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 and telling you that there's no side effects and everything. Okay, please don't. You want to use it yourself, use it yourself. Okay, I won't condemn you. That's your choice. That's your body. Okay, anything happened to your body, that's your choice. But if you harm someone with, well, not properly managed knowledge, 
and got them to use steroid out of your own recommendation just because you're using it and you're selling it and you harm them, harm their health, well, think about the family, okay? If you don't want to think about them, you want to think about their money only, think about their family, okay? You are literally causing their family well, a lot of pain in the long run if something happened to them. Not saying that people who use steroid will definitely have something, okay? Will definitely have diseases, okay? It's not directly, directly affecting it, but, well, I'm not, I'm not a doctor, okay? I wouldn't say it. There's so many medical research on it and, and, and uh, the side effects or the benefit or the, 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 the bad things about it that is online. You can go do your own research. But personally, my own experience, I won't use it. I will not recommend it. And uh, I'm not condemning other people using it. Question two. No? Number two. Is it uno, des? No? Number two. Tia. Question two is duration of training. I think a lot of questions got shot my way because I trained three hours, sometimes three and a half hours, and uh, the max I did was six hours straight, non-stop, maybe pausing to chew on some bread and banana <laughs> to replenish my energy, but uh, you know, I've gone really wild on my workout. I got so intense, so, so into my, in, in my, my, my training, that it's like a trance, you know? I, I got into a trance, and I don't feel tired. Uh, sorry, I zoned out a little back there. <laughs> okay, I literally can whack, and that six hours of training day was my leg day. Okay, I was going crazy with the squats, with the leg press, with the leg extension, leg curl, you know, full, full package of workout because I was preparing for workout, eh, preparing for competition. But about working out duration, there are times I work out one hour, okay? Uh, I work out every day and at times I feel that my body is, uh, well, being overtrained. I will take a day off, training one hour intensely, leg day, <laughs> I love leg day. One hour intensely on leg day, a bit lighter, high repetition, as my rest day. Okay, one hour. But is one hour enough? Yes! For a normal person, for everybody else, one hour is enough. Okay, why? Because it is better than nothing. Okay, if you can spend your day working out one hour intensely without this action in, in the gym or in the gym, okay? With all those kind of things or you know, the butt sticking up and then I don't know how they curve it. If you can spend one hour straight seriously training with very little rest in between, okay? You will get result. Seriously, I'm not kidding. You definitely get result with one hour. You want to train two hours also can, but that depends on how your body is, is being conditioned. Okay, I've built up my base, I've built up my foundation, and I'm training long hours because I am using my own body. I'm a trainer. I am using my own body as a canvas to practice on. Okay, before I train someone else, I need to understand the workout, the form, the posture fully, so I know how to prevent injury when I'm training my client and give them the best result. That's why I train long hours, okay? And a lot of people come up to me, you know, boom, you're training long hours, you cannot gain muscle. Even for competition, you know, competition prepping. Same thing, I train long hours. These people tell me that you cannot build muscle when you train long hours, you're gonna burn off all the muscles. But that all depends on your nutrition, how you eat it, how you fit the muscles, how you, how, the, the type of food you choose, that will help you to recover faster. Even with natural training, even as a natural bodybuilder, you can do it. As long as you have all, each and every single step prop, uh, uh, prep properly. Okay, if you build the right foundation, you eat properly, you have enough rest, you, you drink enough water, you will be able to 
accomplish uh, you will be able to have your results so training duration I would say well if you are a busy businessman 30 minutes a day every single day is enough intense huh? intense huh? intense huh? okay 30 minutes a day intensely yes but you will not become Arnold Schwarzenegger okay you will have the fitness you will have a nice physique you will have a healthy body okay if you have one hour go one hour if you have one and a half hour go one and a half hour it all depends on your physique your goal what do you intend to achieve did i answer your question and the third question eating clean okay a lot of people they ask me is it necessary to eat clean in my case yes every single one of my clients, I expect them to eat clean at least the first two years okay. build a good foundation build it up make it solid you know condition your body shift your 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 body's biology into something that is burning fat and then on and off if you want to have a chicken wing you know buffalo wings I think in 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 the United States they call it buffalo wings and you have all those uh, maybe roti canai, chapati, you know, curry, laksa. Okay, I'm Sarawakian, so laksa, kolomi, you know. On, well, not every day. I mean, like, uh, sometimes if you want to enjoy them, if you still have food cravings, yes. But in my case, I choose to avoid them. It's been 14 years I'm eating clean. I have no cravings because I train my mind. To not have cravings it's all in the mindset a lot of people that tell you that you know mindset is a bullshit thing okay but it is not I managed to train myself to have to have to not have the cravings see there was one experience one of my Brunei friends he came down a bunch of them then we went to this uh, dim sum place and he ordered he ordered one whole table you know how big the table is for 10 people eh? he ordered one whole table of dim sum. I never touched a single piece. I ordered a black coffee and I looked at my watch. The time came, I went out, had my food, come back in and socialize with them. I have no craving even if you put it in front of me. I'm like the cat that if you put a fish in front of me, I have no craving. You know, I'm mmm, mm, you know. I have no craving for it. I have the power to choose to eat it or not and that is because when I first started I was really crazy you know I went all out I didn't eat I, I didn't have cheat meal you know I didn't eat eat all those you know those 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 craving that's those kind of food you know I have a, a, a laser focus On eating clean because I know what I want and I saw the benefit that is why every time people come up to me you know they told me is it important to eat clean I say yes if you can eat clean for three months you'll see the benefit and when you see the benefit of you you are more energetic you're not more alert you know you you have you have more energy in yourself you would want to extend it that's what happened to me that's why I, I recommend it to everyone if you can manage to eat clean for three months, you'll see the benefit. And you extend it, you'll build a good foundation. Okay? And then in the long run, if you don't want to eat... No, I won't recommend you not to eat clean. Okay? Maybe eat clean 95%, 90%. And the rest, you know, you can whatever you want. See, when I went to Bangkok uh, with one of my colleagues back in the days, the first time I went there, he has seen me in my office, you know, in the office we work together, my colleague. He has seen me eating clean throughout the whole one or two years that I was working there. And when we went down to Bangkok for four days, right, and I didn't really work out because we are booking gyms. Uh, I think I work out one, one hour a day, one hour, yeah, yeah, one hour a day for the four days. And I was literally eating everything. Tom yum gum, and then uh, the roadside noodle, and then the you know those uh, pork thing, and then all those barbecue thing, and all those things. I was literally going all out, but every two hours I eat clean. 
even when I'm, I'm stuffed with all those uh, uh, Tom Yum Gum and two hours earlier, I will still have something inside my body. And when I came back, I lost four kilos. Four kilos for four days. The veins on my arms and everything, I looked so shredded. You know, I was literally burning off the fat. That's because I conditioned my body correctly with, I think then it was six years. Six years I was eating clean. You know, I ate clean and I completely didn't try to uh, have cheat meals and other things other than Chinese New Year coming home because reunion dinner for Chinese New Year and my family. I eat clean, but the rest of the time I have been eating clean. And that helped me to build a very good foundation to be, be a fat furnace, okay? My body is literally burning fat automatically the whole day as long as you eat clean. Question four, supplements. Okay, I have nothing against supplement, similar to steroids, I have nothing against supplements. You want to eat it, you don't want to eat it, it's your choice. But, well, is it, is it like the main agenda? No. When I started, <laughs> that's thanks to my mum, okay, I want to thank my mum. She, she set that kind of image that proteins are steroid. <laughs> and, and I never touch it. And then when I started coming out and started training people, and a lot of my clients asked me, hey, do you think this uh, protein is good? Do you think this fat burner is good? I said, I don't know. And I cannot say I don't know because they are looking at me for recommendations. So that's the first time I took supplements. I took protein, I took fat burner, I took NO, nitric oxide, you know, uh, creatine, you know, uh, arginine and uh, L, L, L carnitine and all those supplements just so that I can understand what it does to my body. And in year 2011, after my first competition, someone came up to me and asked me, hey, do you know um, which protein will help me build muscle faster? Which protein will help me build muscles? I said, oh, uh, I asked him, which gym did you go to? And the guy told me, I have not signed up with any gym. And I asked him, have you started working out? No, I haven't started working out. But I want to buy protein first so I can build muscle. And I was like, <laughs> I asked him, go and find a gym first. Start working out. Don't think so much about the protein. Proteins are expensive. Gym membership, you know, they, in Miri here, you know, there are gyms that cost th three ringgit. Okay, three ringgit, that's even less than one USD. Yeah? Three ringgit per entry. And that's very cheap compared to 200 ringgit of worth of protein. So I told him, go to the gym, work out first, and, and well, then you decide whether you want to use protein or not. And he told me, nah. I don't think I'm going to start anymore. I was like, why? Because if I don't have protein, he said, he said, because if he doesn't take protein, he cannot build muscle. It's a waste of time. And I told him, I'm going to prove to you, I'm going to stop using all the supplements and I'm still going to build a better, better physique than what I had in 2011 for, con for the competition, for the local contest, bodybuilding contest. And since 2011, I stop my protein. My, I stop my protein intake. I stop the supplement intake. Maybe on and off. If there's new supplement, I'll try it and see what it, it what how how it affects my body. But I stop taking protein, and I am still maintaining my physique up to now. You can check out my Instagram account. My progress. I post well almost weekly lah. Let's say weekly lah. Sometimes. I post three, four times in a week, in a day. Sometimes I post once in a week or once in two weeks. But you'll see my progress. Okay, my physique, I maintain my physique without supplement. So if, if you ask me, the most important thing is start going to the gym first. Eat correctly. Eat clean. Eat to build. Yeah, eat so that when you tear your muscle in the gym, you can replenish, you can recover the muscle fibers so that you can keep on growing your muscles. Question five. Ah, I saved the best for last. Training aids. No, not AIDS, you know. Training support. <laughs> what kind of training support I'm talking about? You know those, uh, those tight, tight, 
pants you wear and then they said, oh, this one will help you to build muscle and make you slimmer, burn fat, you know, those tight, tight corset, you know, those things, and then the upper body corset or whatever corset, and then there's even one worse one, okay? People actually came up to me and asked me if that works. It's those electric pads, you know? <laughs> what, what do you want to do? You know, you, you don't build your muscle by do, 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 do. you know? <laughs> what can I say? Those things are not cheap. If you have the money to spend on them and, uh, you know, think they are living in La La Land or, or Fairy Tale Land or Unicorn Land, go ahead. It's your money. It's not mine. Okay, you earn it. You, however you want to waste it, and have high hopes for it, hoping that there's miracle, you know, miracle happening, that's your choice. But honestly speaking, if you have some common sense, if those things work, do you think that people will uh, train so hard in the gym? Do you think that those bodybuilders, when they want to diet down, you know, for category, you know, weight, weight class category, won't they be using it? Ask yourself. <laughs> this question when people ask me, you know, they, they try to share out on uh, losing fat by wrapping and then some even worse, applying Vicks and then wrapping with, uh, I don't know, al not aluminum foil, you no, know, those, those food wrappers, you know. And they tell you they lose 10 pounds a day, a night or whichever, if, whichever number they are telling you, or f those, and then, you know, ask yourself, is, if, if those things work, I don't think uh, gym business will survive anymore. You know, people's gonna just simply eat and uh, wrap themselves up, or, you know, buy those, <laughs> and uh, get results, okay? So these are the five, five questions I always get asked, especially now, the last, the, the fifth, the last one, everyone's trying to make money from uh, delusional, naive um, people. So don't, don't, don't be, don't be the naive one, okay? Don't be the naive, person okay and if like i said if you have different questions of course i get more but these are the more popular ones which i got i'm not too sure what uh, other trainers are getting if you are a trainer if you're a guy who spend your all your time in the gym and uh, you get people coming up to you and ask you very odd weird uh you know <laughs> you know those kind of questions um please leave a comment down below and let me know what are the questions you get and how you respond to them, okay? So, if you think that it, well, I entertain you enough with this video, please leave a like in my video, okay? Please, you know, give me a thumbs up, you know, it motivates me, you know, without having you asking me any question, you give me a thumbs up, it motivates me. And also, Share it to all your friends so that they get entertained by my video as well. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So every time if I get to make uh, this entertaining video for you all or maybe informative and, and uh, well, things that can help you to be better in, in the gym or your physique, physically better, okay? Do subscribe to my channel and don't forget, you know that thing, you know that thing, thing that thing, that bell, remember to smash that notification bell. So really, man, every time if I post a new video, you'll be notified the first, okay? Like I said, I I'm getting bored of saying this because people are not following, okay? Wear a mask, follow the SOP, wear your face shield if you have them, if you're going to a crowded, uh, crowded area, have physical distancing, stay safe. If there's no need, stop flying around. Okay, I know you're coped up for a long time and, and you feel like you really want to go out and enjoy yourself. But remember, it's still not safe. If there's not a need, 
try not to fly too much. Italy is going to be there for, for, for a long time waiting for you. You know, Europe is going to be there a long time waiting for you. Okay? Save up the money, save your life. You will have that opportunity to experience whichever country you want next time when it's safe. Okay? Stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.